Hey guys, how are you? So I'm recording this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do my disclaimer again because I forgot to hit the record button. Uh, but for those of you who are watching, uh, what I'm gonna be talking to you guys about is uh, how you can, what to look out for when it comes to getting hiring a coach or hiring a mentor, or getting somebody to do assets and done for you services for you. And I just want to state a disclaimer that I am not a lawyer. I cannot give legal advice. I cannot state claims. Uh, the information I'm going to give you guys on this lovely uh, afternoon is uh, feedback that I've gotten from my clients and the women in my community, and also my personal experience uh, from now being an entrepreneur online for almost 10 years. Uh, so that's the the what how this is going to be gauged so the reason why i want to state that disclaimer because i might just rattle a few feathers here which is okay but the other day i did a live talking about just this topic inside of my community and i really firmly realized that god has put me in a position to become an advocate for women in business for them to not be taken advantage of for them to not be treated to not be ostracized and treated that treated like um, because they're not at a certain level, then they're not going to really create an impact. So I want to, you guys ever saw that movie? Um, I forgot exactly. Who was the actor's name, Robin? I forgot the actor's name. But um, they, it, in that movie, it talks about how build it and they will come. Hey, Dr. Car Carleen, welcome. That term, have you guys ever heard that term called build it and they will come? Yes or no? Have any of you guys, thank you so much, Shanta. Uh, build it and they will come. If any of you guys ever heard of that term in your life, like as long as you build the business, people are going to come running. As long as you built an idea, the minute you built the idea, people will start coming. Or if, well, if I build your website, people will start clicking and clicking and going on there and buying all the products and services that you have to offer. Have any of you guys ever heard that term, build it? If you build it, they will come. Kevin Costner, yes, Kevin Costner said it. If if you build it, they will come. Um, I want. <laughs> I know you heard of that, Shanta. I know you heard of that. Uh, yes, no worries, no worries. Hey, Diane, how are you? So I want to talk about that whole term, build it and they will come. BS. Okay, because that's full BS, guys. I, this guys, if y'all didn't share this live out, share it out. Uh, it is a bunch of BS. It's no such thing as as the build it and they will come in your business, right? You build it and you do the work that you do from, from the building part to the actual success part, we forget about the in-between. So I wanna to talk to you guys about done for you services. Have any of you have ever purchased uh, a done for you service from someone before, whether it be done for you, they do your website, so they do your Facebook ads, or they do your whatever. Have you ever had that, at that opportunity um, I don't care for makeup, but you are looking. Oh, thank you, Rochelle. Thank you, thank you, thank you, girl. I'm not. I, I'm not into the natural. Why? Why be natural when you can be supernatural? <laughs> why be natural when you can be supernatural? So that's how I like to show up on a consistent basis. But thank you so much for that compliment. But yeah, so you know, if any of you guys have ever. Uh, purchase done for you services or, or thinking of purchasing done for you services um, where people are, are working on your stuff I want to give you guys some advice on that okay I'm not saying that everyone is who, who do done for you services or or have bad intent or they're not good people or they're not a good person or what have you but you got to get clear ladies on what is it that you want someone to do for your business if you are not clear right? You're going to be set up to be taken advantage of. You're going to be set up to be disappointed, right? And the end result is not going to be what it is that you want to be. So just recently, I've been doing a lot of research. You know, I've hired a lawyer um, in the past. I hired a lawyer for something else uh, that I needed done personally, uh, but he has been giving me so much advice the past few months on just my overall business concept. And a lot of things that he, him and I was having a conversation um, like last week sometime, very recently. And he was like, you know, Letitia, 
you should talk about this on your live. He was like, you should discuss this, the things that you have been researching, the things that you have seen since you're building a business online, you already seen the, the, the good, the bad, the happy, the sad. And one of the things that gets me so frustrated is when there's entrepreneurs out here who are offering done for you services and they're not done for you services. Okay. And there's so many claims now that's being, and again, guys, I'm not a lawyer and I can't state any claims publicly, but there's been so many claims of these, of these business owners, online marketers who are getting sued because they are mis misrepresenting their business. Okay. So there's a lot of people, again, doing done for you services when really they're not really done for you. They're set up services. So if you have somebody to come in and they're saying, well, I'll offer a done for you service where I help you uh, um, create a website, create a, uh, a funnel, create a list builder uh, platform or create whatever, you know, that's not considered done for you. That's considered set up services. So here's the reason you're probably asking, well, if they're only offering set up services, then why don't they just call it set up services? And I'm gonna tell you why they don't do that. It's because if somebody's offering a set up service, there's a certain price range that they have to charge. Okay. If they're offering a done for you service, that's obviously more money for, from, that's out as a, as an entrepreneur, there's more money when you say, Hey, I do, I done for you. You could charge from 10 to even 30 K for per person to do those services versus just saying set up, which is normally will run you about 2,500 all the way to maybe 5,000. It all depends on what exactly it is. So marketing wise, a lot of these online marketers, online marketers, they want to get the highest amount of dollars from you. They do, because they know that you don't know the difference between done for you and set up. You probably never heard of done for you services before. And when you hear that title, you get so excited, right? So they're very, very good at using word swing to get you to say, hey, either you got time or you got money, or either, either you have time to do it all for yourself or, hey, we can do it all for you. Great, but call it a setup, not a done for you. Do you guys get what I'm saying? So really when you look at somebody that's doing done for you services is exactly what it says done for you. Cause to have somebody build a website or a funnel for you or do a graphic, that doesn't make you money. Can we just be honest here? If I make a website for Dr. Carlene right now, she get a pretty website, but that doesn't have an effect on her business. She still has to work on traffic to get to that website. If I do a, a funnel for Shantae, right? Put a little pretty little graphic on it, a uh, uh, pop-up that says, put your email here, and then you get my free ebook. That does not, that will not increase Shanta's revenue. It looks great. It looks pretty. But in the, the day, she still, she, her, Dr. Carlene and Shantae has to work on building traffic to get there. So are y'all following me here? So then it's not done for you. It's not done for you. It's set up. That person that did that asset for you, they just took the work off of your shoulders and set it up, but they position it as a dump for you. Now, here's why I'm going to step on some toes here, and I'm totally fine. I'm a big woman. I could take anything. I'm, I'm, I'm from New York, you know. You know, if, if I, I have uncles, if they came to your house right now, I'd be like, Roz, hide your purse. You know, I got people in my family that literally I'd be like, yo, uh, uh, Uncle Billy, go. Get out! I feel no one. I'm trying to get you. I'm, I'm, I am going, I am an advocate for women not being scammed, women not being gypped out of their money. I have heard horror stories for the past week of women who have spent over 100K on a coach, a woman who has spent over $23,000 on, on, on a, a done for you service. Women have, who have spent 60 grand, be honest y'all, how much money have you spent with someone and you got shit in return? The time, the time now is, is over for that. So all y'all done for you so-called coaches, y'all better watch your behind because if your business is licensed here in the US, trust and believe you can get class action suits against your behind. Don't, don't be slick. Because I'm tired of it. I'm so tired of it. So when, when a client comes to me, by the time a client comes to me, 
and, and, I, and I actually offer done for you services where I do everything from setup to building your traffic to handling your email marketing. I, we do everything. We make you feel like a celebrity in your business so that you could be marketing on the front end. Because you shouldn't have to be the one sending emails and following up. You, we, we have a whole team back here. I just had to fire somebody last night who was on my team. Because when you're an entrepreneur, and I was telling Dr. Carlene this last night, when you're an entrepreneur, you got to get comfortable with firing people. You got to get comfortable. Because at the end of the day, the outcome is my client. And if they're not happy, I'm pissed. Okay? Point blank, period. So the point of this whole story is when I get a client who finally comes to me, they all been through the woods and been through the ditches and been through all these things with other coaches and they come to me, they're they've already been burnt by somebody else. So by the time we, they come to me, I got to first break through all these limits and beliefs about what they purchased was not really a done for you. Really what you purchased, ma'am, was somebody to set up your assets, not actually help do your help and run your business for you. Now you're going to do work. We're not, we're not stepping aside from that. But if you're going to pay somebody uh, thousands and thousands of dollars and this articles on this guys, y'all can go anywhere on social media and look up these articles on these disasters. They call it the done for you scam and how they, and actually they call it also the business coach scam. There's a lot of these business coaches out here who are offering services and they're scamming their clients out of their money. Uh, their clients are left in debt, selling their homes, things like that. It's a real thing, y'all. Yeah, exactly. Slow to hire, quick to fire. Absolutely, Ross. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Aurora. My daughter's name is Aurora. Pretty name, mama. I'm just writing down y'all's name so I can remember it. So tell me, guys, how, how much money have you spent with a coach, with a mentor, uh, with somebody who said, listen, I'll, I do, I'm going to just get all this stuff done for you. We're going to do this all for you. You're going to be working with us for this amount of time, and we're going to be handling all this stuff for you. How many of you, how much money, and just be honest, that ha you have spent? I spoke to someone the other day who said that she went, went to hire a coach, and uh, she had to put her house up just to afford her program. And my mouth, my jaw dropped. There was a, another young lady. Her name is Ashley Ann. I don't know if y'all know who Ashley Ann is. She's like one of the top marketers in the game. And she talked about her live last week. So, so those of y'all who are looking at me mad and, and with the side eye, there's women like myself, like Ashley, who are also being advocates and discussing this because the time for this has to stop. Because now when people come to women like me or women like all the other ladies in my network, they've already been burned. They're not willing to invest any more money and their businesses suffer. Just like the guy who uh, crawled into my DM to sell me on a promise. Absolutely. They'll sell you on a promise. They'll sell you on a promise, but not actually any results. You know, man, I can't wait till next Wednesday. Ah! Oh, so I got, <laughs> my mother said, Tisha, you be jiggling too much on your live. I can't help it. Hey, Robert. I'm sorry, y'all. I gotta, I gotta rattle some stones. So let's, let's, let's stay on task here. And I want to explain to you guys once again. Let me educate y'all on the difference between a done for you coach and a setup coach. Now, if you are a setup coach, shame on you for marketing your business, your brand, as if it's done for you when it's not done for you. If you're a setup coach and you're setting assets up for your clients, position yourself as a setup coach. Don't come out here on this social media acting like you're done for you when you're set up. You're only doing done for you because you know when you put that title up there, you're getting, what, almost a half a, a hundred K out of your client, always up to $50,000, right, per person. But you're only doing setup. They still got to go on the back end and do all the work, figure out technology and do all this other stuff. And if, if you as a client, if you know that you hate sending out emails and you know that you hate are doing your own social media marketing and you can't keep up with posting or you can't keep up with your brand image and you need somebody to step in and handle your social media for you actually as how you has your access codes to your facebook instagram linkedin's accounts and all this other stuff and your email uh server account and everything and they and they and you need somebody to help you on that end you need to be vocal about that you understand? You need to say, well, listen, I know your offer says this, but this is what I need. Can you offer that? No? Okay, I'm going, I'm moving on to the next. 
Don't let these people bait you into getting their setup services when really you need them for you. And there's nothing wrong with that. My, my assistant, my VA assistant, Tree, she's on here. She, at one point, she was waking me up every morning. That's how much of a done for you I needed. I need her to call my phone and with a t-shirt, it's coach, it's time to wake up. Okay, cool. If that's, if that's what I need, that's what I need. You got to be clear, guys, on what it is that you need. What, what do you like to do and what you hate to do in your business? It's okay to hate certain things in your, not to do in your business. Like, I don't proofread nothing. Right? You, most of y'all who've been on my email list now for six years, y'all know in the beginning, I was spelling things incorrectly. My grammar was horrible because I'm, I'm a I'm behavioral person. I just focus on, I shoot and ask questions later. You know what I'm saying? If I stay stuck on perfection, I won't get, nothing goes off, nothing goes off the shelf. So I had to hire somebody to proofread my content for me because I hated to read over my content. I'm not stupid because of that. It's, it's my level of focus. My level of focus is to launch. That's all I care about every day, all day. I eat, breathe, and shit my business, right? That's my focus. So if I hire somebody that their level of genius, they love to proofread all of my stuff and say, hey, Letitia, here it go. It's all proofread. You can send it out. And I still spell some things wrong because I'm very impatient and I don't like to wait for people to get me back, give me back my copies. That's okay. But I still make money. I still make coin. You all hear what I'm saying? So that what it is we have to understand, guys, you got to be clear on what it is that you want, what type of entrepreneur you want to be. You know, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, God, I got to show y'all this video. I'm like Puff Daddy when it comes to entrepreneur. I don't want to do shit. OK, last year I posted a video that he did. He said, that's why I hire people to do stuff, because I and guys, if you haven't shared this out, share this out, because somebody who is an entrepreneur needs to hear this. I don't want to do shit. I pay y'all to do what I tell y'all to do so I can sit here and I can smell the roses. I don't want to do shit. Who's that type of entrepreneur? And if you are that way, that's fine. That's fine. But don't hire, then don't hire a setup coach. Don't hire a setup coach because you're like Puff Daddy. You're puffy. You know, this is you. You're not this. That's not you. Your zone of genius is that you want to be like on stages as a speaker. You want to be writing out your books. You want to be launching your course. This is you. You know, you puffy. Okay? You're not this. So if you are puff daddy, can't stop, won't stop, you know what I'm saying? Don't hire a setup coach. Hire you a done for you team. Is anybody, is anybody picking up what I'm putting down? I'm puffy. Are you puffy? Where my puff daddy divas at? That's me. I'm Lisa. I could only be honest because I'm sick of these coaches. Cause I just had a conversation with a lady last night who just told me this, that she's hired tons of coaches, spent over 50 K and they promised this and they promised that. And she still has to do everything in your business. Honey, if you want to get to six from four to five to six, seven, eight, nine figures, you can't do it by yourself. You need a team. You can't do this by yourself. I can I call my VAs. I say, y'all are my right brain. Cause I, you as a human being, right, Robin, you cannot physically use your whole brain every day. Okay? I only can use the right side of my brain every day. Not literally, just just you know, follow me here. Y'all know I'm a mother of four kids, young kids. I have a 12-year-old, a nine-year-old, a six-year-old, and a two-year-old. That alone, since I only use my right side of my brain, they alone take up 80%. Some days, 88% of my mind. The rest of that is to my business. So now I only have, what, less than 30% capacity that I'm using in my brain for my business. So that's where my VA team comes in. That's where my design team comes in. That's where my technology team comes in. Because they take care of the left side. Some of y'all are trying to use 100% of your brain in your business, and your brain is like, boo-boo. Um, I, I, we puff daddy though. We're puffy though. Why, why are you trying to be, come on, we're puffy.
I got brand new glasses, so I'm reading people's in this season. I got my new reading glasses, so it's time to read, honey. Okay, and I'm here for it. I'm reading. I got big enough glasses now. My clients actually helped me pick up this glasses. So thank you to my clients. When I was at the glasses store. I was like, can y'all help me pick out glasses? And guys, I have an event coming up in Dallas, Texas. So Teresa, if you're on here, camelsuccessnetwork.com. Go there, grab you. If you can't come in person, y'all, which I totally understand, the event is from the 8th to the 10th. Get you a virtual ticket. The virtual ticket is only $29. I'm going to be dissecting all this. And I'm not going live to the public for my event. If you want to watch virtually, you got to get a ticket. It's only $29 just for a virtual ticket. We have, we have a new vendor coming. Her name is Tina. I forgot her last name. She just paid for her vendor ticket last night. Woo! So I woke up this morning. My PayPal was like, boop, 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 Monica got her virtual ticket. Oh, so, so happy. Can't stop. Well, let I gotta find this video. Hold on. Can y'all hold for the floor? I wanna I want y'all to watch Puffy real quick. Cause this is this. I want to teach y'all something real quick. Let me find it on my pro my, my profile because I posted it last year and the girls was gagging. They were like, Coach, you just broke it down for us. The girls was gagging, y'all. The girls, the girls. Yes. How do I uh, manage posts? How do I find it? Hold on one second, y'all. I want to search. I want to search my profile. Up, oh, daddy, baby. Can't stop, won't stop. Yes. Once I find that video, it is a wrap. Y'all going to gag, honey. Y'all going to say, I'm going to be Mrs. Puff Daddy. I'm going to be Dr. Puff Daddy. I'm going to be Reverend Pastor uh, uh, Evangelist Puff Daddy. This whole video, it should be your whole mood. Hold on. Oh, I can't believe I can't find it. I'm going to find it. If y'all can hold for the for me, I'm going to show y'all this because y'all need to see this like yesterday. Okay. Can't stop, won't stop. Yeah, absolutely, Crystal. You can watch the whole event for $29 if you can't make it there in person. I encourage y'all to come in person, but I understand, honey. If y'all can't make it in person, watch, catch it on the replay. I mean, I catch it, catch it, uh, catch it live. Oh, where I put it, where I put it, where I put it. You gotta go on to my videos, y'all. If I don't find it, then the next time I go live, I will, um, I'll post it on my timeline the next time. If, 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 if I can't find it, because y'all know I have so much video content on here that is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. All right, let's see. I literally did it a year ago. Where you at, Puff Daddy? Where you at? Where you at? But do y'all get what I mean by when I, when I, did that help anybody today? When I talked about the big difference when it comes to setup services and done for you services. Because let me tell you what happens when these people who are searching for the done for you and they're getting the setup and they still have to work and manage and operate their businesses on their own. They end up losing out on thousands upon thousands of dollars. Then they run out of money fast, right? Because a lot of these setup uh, entrepreneurs, they try to put a bandaid on what's not working so you can continuously spend more money. And then you're, you're just burned. You have no more money to pay out, no more money to invest in your businesses. And you're totally and completely burnt. I gotta go back super far, guys. So did this help any of you guys to be more consciously aware? For one, you got to know what you want. So important that you know exactly what you, what you like to do in your business and be honest about what you don't like to do. Some of y'all are, are wearing that compare syndrome over your head and you're watching other entrepreneurs 
saying, hey, I do graphics, I do all this stuff on my own, and you yourself know that you can't do all this stuff by yourself, so you start to feel bad because you can't, physically, you try to do everything by yourself, and it doesn't work out that way. Yeah, guys, so I'm, I can't find that video right now, but I trust and believe when I get off of this live, I'm going to find it, and I'm going to post it. If y'all want me to tag you on that, let me know, and I'll tag you on that. And so basically what Puff Daddy was saying was that he was basically summing up how he wants to live his life. And all of you guys have the right to build a business and live a life that you want to live, but also be consciously aware that there is a such thing called the business coach scam. And this is a, it's a billion dollar scam is where coaches and so-called gurus are coming online. They're saying that they can help you launch your business through their done for you services they're making all these promises, but no actual proof from startup clients. It's different if you're already working with a client who has a business, right? And all they need is a little bit of tweaks and they already have to drive to bring in traffic. But when it comes to startup, yeah, Darlene, do you, do you have the link to the Puff Daddy video? If you can, Darlene, yeah, that video, the one where he was like jumping up and down, he said, I don't want to do shit. That's when he was doing that. If you have that, if you could put it in the comments, I need to show it to the girls, okay? I need to show it to my ladies here on the live. And I know I posted it like about a year ago. Let me look at one more spot, ladies. One more spot. And once I find this video, I'm gonna pin the shit out of you. Because I actually stum stumbled upon this video a while back. Nope, I don't have it. Wait, if Puff Daddy, he calls himself P. Diddy, right? Yeah, if you could find it. Oh, thank you so much. I love, love, love Darlene. Darlene is actually coming, joining us in Dallas. So, guys, listen. Um, where's my girl, Therese? Hold on, y'all. Let me put the link here for y'all to... For the event. Yeah, ladies, so... For those of y'all who are interested in coming to Dallas or are, are being attendee virtually, go to camelsuccessnetwork.com. It's the first button. You can either come in person or be a virtual uh, viewer. It's perfectly fine. Uh, we're going to have speakers flying through from all over the world. Um, I'm going to have a speakers list coming up very, very soon. But yeah, it's going to be clear. So like I said, guys, I want to ask you guys this question again. How many of you guys are more clear on knowing the difference, on knowing the difference between a, a setup coach and an actual done for you coach, it's a difference. Just because somebody said done for you doesn't mean it's done for you. It's just like Louis Vuitton. You can get the real Louis Vuitton or you can get the knockoff Louis Vuitton. There's nothing wrong with either or. If you want to get the real Louis Vuitton and, and invest the $3,000 on that purse so that you can have, like I will, I, me personally, and I'm not bashing anyone for this. Me personally, I can't wear a knockoff purse. You know what I'm saying? Like I have a, my Michael Kors purse. Okay. And if I feel the need to get a Louis Vuitton, I'll get Louis Vuitton, but I would never buy a knockoff. That's just me. But if you're, if people are okay with that, they're okay with that. But understand the difference though. You got to understand the difference between the knockoff and between the actual real thing. And some of y'all, y'all don't need the knockoff. You want the real thing. You want the real deal done for you services where people, where you can get every single thing done without the hassle. And I'm going to talk more about this in the upcoming weeks because these, these cases and these horror stories that I've been hearing from people who have purchase done for you and having or, or having all these issues with getting stuff done it almost brings me to tears because twenty thousand dollars may be nothing for that coach but it's everything for you you had to you some of y'all are paying for your coaching packages in secret hey Ra, hey Ra star some of y'all are paying for your coach in secret your husband don't even know that you just spent fifteen thousand dollars on a coach 
You know what I'm saying? Your accountant doesn't even know that you just spent $23,000 on a coach. You, you, you're giving away. And so now when you're not getting that ROI, which is the return on your investment, now you have more than just feeling like you made a mistake. Now you have the guilt. How many of y'all feel guilty for all the money you spent on mentor? In the past four or five years, it probably totaled to over 10K, over 15K. And now you have a sense of guilt and you cannot build in guilt. You can't turn back time, right? But you also cannot build a business, a successful business in guilt because I've made mistakes too. But instead of me sitting here like, oh my God, I can't believe I spent that much money on this person. I have to sit back and say, you know what? I need to be an advocate now and explain to my audience the difference between hiring done for you services and really the difference between a setup coach and a real, real holy field done for you coach. Because by the time somebody comes to me, they've already been burnt, burnt multiple times and they're not willing to spend the money to get act. Oh, here we go. Are y'all ready to see this? Thank you, darling. Let me pull this up. Let me pull this up, y'all. Yes. Does this play? Hold on. I got to show y'all this. Let me play it first. Make sure. It probably got cussing. So if y'all don't like the cussing, then I apologize. Let me just play it first. There we go. Come through, puppy. Hey, LaVon. How are you guys? Don't forget, go to camelsuccessnetwork.com, camelsuccessnetwork.com. Go over and grab your in-person or virtual ticket for Dallas. All right. Y'all ready to hear this? Let me see some readies, y'all. Oh, shoot. Let me refresh it. Let me refresh puffy now. Are y'all ready for this? Let me see some readies in the comments. Thank you so much, Darlene, for, for finding it. You are a gem. Let me see some readies, y'all. And I'm freezing. Am I freezing? Oh, no, I'm good. Let me see some readies in the comments. Yes, Miss Jackie. All right. Let me share my screen. Wish I could make this bigger. I need my brain to be used that I like that. I've got too much genius shit that the world needs to see and feel. Y'all got that work to do. That's why I pay everybody so I could do less work. That's the hustle. Did y'all know that's the hustle? You make enough money to pay everybody so you don't do shit, but be as happy as you can be. I want to be happy. I pay too many people. Please. That means I don't want to do shit. Walk around this motherfucker. And enjoy it. Smell the flowers and all that shit. I need my brain to be used that I like that. I got too much. Yes. I like how you said so I can walk around this motherfucker. <laughs> some of y'all need somebody to do some real done for you so you can walk around this motherfucker and do what it is that makes you happy. And that's what it is. Come on. Come on, y'all. That's what building a business is all about, is doing what you love to do, doing what makes you happy. And if sending out emails to people every day or doing graphics every day or follow up with prospects every day is not something that makes you happy, then you need to hire someone and get them to do all the things that don't make you happy so that way you can do what it is that makes you happy. And then in that moment, you will shine. So please understand one thing. There's nothing wrong with having a, having a line in the sand and you telling yourself and telling the world, this is what my zone of genius is. This is what I love to do in my business, what I'm passionate about doing in my business. This is what I love to show up for. And this is the list of things that I hate doing in my business. And I need to send to somebody else to do it, do it all for me. That is the magic to all this. Do not get stuck and caught up in these marketing ploys of people trying to say, well, we can do it all for you. In all reality, you can't do it all. There is no contracts. There is no deadlines. There is no, no sense of saying, well, this is how long we're going to do to take, do this. Are they, there, are they literally, uh, throwing mud in your face because you want to make edits on something that you paid for. So I got to ask the question, who's the client then? Who's the client and who's the coach? Because a coach should never tell you, no, 
I, I don't think you should have this type of stuff on, on your page. No, you are the client. Means that you call the shots. You are the boss. Do y'all hear me? Don't let these coaches come out and say, oh, well, I don't feel that you should do this. If you feel passionate about having a plant purple or having a certain brand name that you want, you go with that. There's too many of y'all coaches out here trying to run people's businesses for them and you ain't giving them shit in return. That stops today. So I'm telling you guys right now, stand up for your business. Be truthful and honest with yourself of what you can do and what you can't do because that's all in the process of being a woman. We're not women, we're woman. We are woman, right? That is the process. So be clear, y'all. Be clear and understand the difference between a setup coach and a done for you coach. Just because somebody's doing your website, just because somebody's doing your funnels and somebody's doing your graphics, that's not done for you. That's not. Look it up. Look it up. That is called set up. Set up services. It's okay if you're a coach and you only do set up, then say it. That's all I'm telling you guys to do. Those of y'all out here and y'all looking to do, y'all, maybe you're great with graphics, maybe you're great with funnels, maybe you also know how to do websites, you're good with that. Then call yourself a setup coach. Stop making it bad and miserable for women like me who are real done for you coaches. Stop making it bad for us because you want to get all the coins in the world and give people nothing. Their businesses, they're still broke in their business. They're still not making money in their business because you try to chuggle around here and I don't care how long you've been online, bring it on. I don't care how long, you, I don't care how many followers you got. Followers to me don't mean nothing. Nothing. Anybody can buy a follower. Anybody. Anybody. Anybody can buy likes. Anybody can pay an agency or whoever. I get inboxes all the time on Instagram. Hey, Leticia, I noticed you haven't reached 1,000 followers yet. We can help you create $21,000, 21,000 followers before the weekend. Devil, if you don't get out my inbox. I have a business page here on Facebook. We just made 1,000 likes on Facebook. It's all organic. Stop paying attention to followers, guys. That don't make you famous. That don't make you important. People only care if you can give them a result. People only care if you can be the solution to, your, to, to, to their problem. That's all they care. That's what they care about. So I'm actually helping those of y'all who are watching me live right now on the replay and y'all looking at all these other coaches and so-called gurus and gurus and zuzus and shishis and ninis and patties and y'all like, oh my God, she's done all this, all this stuff, all this is amazing. Da -da 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 -da. I'm saving y'all thousands upon thousands of dollars from getting scammed. And y'all can look up anywhere on social media and you'll see all the many business coaching scams that come out here, because you don't really know people living the life they live in. I could, I could be sitting here in my office and only post pictures of the event I went to last year in Bali. You would not know whether it's current or whether it's not. Anybody, you can be, you can put off any, look at all these women out here getting scammed by these men. Look at all these, these, what's the thing called? The TV show called, um, what's that TV show where people are talking to people online to come to find out it's not a man, it's really a woman or it's not a woman. Not Jerry Spring, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, um, oh, what's the name of that show? There's a show out here that exposes these people online who are perceiving that they one way and they're living a certain lifestyle of this particular person and really they're not. Catfish. People are still getting catfish. Catfish is a trillion dollar business. There's a lot of catfish coaches out here. Can I get an amen on that? There's a lot of catfishness. And it is, it's out there. Any, any arena that you're in, you're going to find fraudulent people. Let me tell you something. Ain't nothing extravagant about my life. Ain't nothing... I, I, I'm in New York, Queens, New York, honey. I'm in the heart of New York. Honey, it is so, it's an amazing, amazing state to live in. But girl, there'd be, there be some nonsense going on out here. And it, this is my life. I'm out in a mansion. I don't got a Lamborghini and, and a boat. 
I, I am who I am. You either take it or leave it. But also in turn, I don't got to work for nobody. Right? And that's how I market. I market financial independence. I market for women to build businesses, start businesses, and actually scale their businesses. I help you turn your business into an actual profit-making empire. Because anybody can teach you how to launch a business, let me tell you something. There's so many coaches teaching you how to be a coach. It's just like, girl, really? There's so many branding coaches out there, business coaches out there, social media coaches out there. And if you're looking at all of them collectively for longer than 30 days, all of them are saying the same thing. All of them are they all saying the same thing. I don't see the difference. Do you see the difference? I don't see the difference. One got longer hair, one got shorter hair, one is black, one other one is white. Okay? It's all, but it's all the same. It's just all packaged up different. It's a pig and a lipstick. But it's still a pig. Can we just be honest about that? Are we clear? Are we clear? Let me see if I missed y'all, missed y'all questions. Yeah. Yeah, they do what they love. That's the hustle. Absolutely. Yeah. So I hope y'all got all that and understand something. And, and I'm, I'm going to leave with this. I'm going to sum this up with this. Be honest with yourself. Be honest to be clear on what type of entrepreneur you want to be. Be clear. And understand that you cannot get to the top by yourself. In order for me to stay out of a job, I got to do whatever I can do possible to make it happen. And I can't do it all by myself. I can't do this all by myself. I can't do it all if I didn't have an awesome head PA like Therese. I couldn't do it all with like with, without Darlene, without the Alita, without Shoshana, without with you know without all the amazing people that really helped me in a big way behind the scenes. Can't do it. You know, you if you're trying to do it all and get a diff, different result, that is the definition of insanity. Absolute definition of insanity. So I hope you guys are picking up what I'm putting down. I hope you guys are now become conscious consciously uh uh aware. And those of y'all who are looking at this live and you're like, no, she didn't say that. I got something for y'all too. Those of y'all looking like, no, no, this Tisha didn't say that. No, she didn't just come out and, and pull the great gasket off of us. I got something to say to you. Mother loves you. Mother cares about you. But mother fuck you. Okay. See y'all next time.